welcome back in today's lecture i am going to talk about the bifurcation okay so i am going to define what is meaning of bifurcation and after that why this particular aspect is very very important to understand okay so till now what we found that if i have second order autonomous linear or non linear system then how to talk about the qualitative behavior and whenever we are talking about qualitative behavior of the dynamical system particularly we concentrate ourselves on second order system and i have already told you that why we are too much concentrated on second order system because i can able to draw their trajectory in two dimensional plane that is our main aim so by visualization we are able to see the things so now another aspect that is that is called the structural stable stability of the system so what we are telling that the system maintains its, its qualitative behavior under the infinitesimally small perturbation okay so whenever i am talking about qualitative behavior of dynamical system at that time i have already told you that what basically we are doing we are calculating the equilibrium point and about the equilibrium point if i have non linear system then we are linearizing and after that whatever i whatever system i have whatever linear system i have and by seeing their property we are going to characterize something like we are telling that whatever equilibrium point that is form a node for key or some kind of uh, uh, some kind of periodic orbit okay so in qualitative behavior we try to understand the pattern of its equilibrium point basically what is behavior of the original non linear system about that some kind of stationary point or you can uh, you can tell that that fixed point or periodic or orbit apart from this we are also talking about the stability stability means we know that trajectory is either converging or diverging so whenever they are converging we are telling that okay i have some kind of property like stability because we have defined stability like this if you start in the vicinity of equilibrium point then what is your behavior if you are converging then you are your system is called stable otherwise it is called unstable so now next thing that is called bifurcation and now in this lecture i am going to talk about the complement of structural st stability what does it mean that i am going to see that when this structural stability lost okay so we are interested in the perturbation that will change the equilibrium point or periodic orbit of the system or change the stability property okay so we are going to see that if some kind of parameters is perturbed by some small amount then what is behavior or what is qualitative behavior of the real, resultant system suppose that initially i have one equilibrium point and one equilibrium point is a stable node and suppose i perturb some parameter then that maintain a stable node or not so that kind of question i am going to answer in today's lecture so let us try to see the definition so definition of the bifurcation and after definition i will come up with several examples and i have already told you that i limit myself for second order system but it is possible to extend for higher order system also okay so whenever we are talking about the bifurcation at that time bifurcation is a change in the equilibrium point or periodic orbit because what we found that 
that periodic orbit is also somehow uh, somehow some continuum of equilibrium point or some kind of connected equilibrium point we are telling and that forms some kind of invariant set so so and whenever we have isolated periodic orbit we have seen that that is called the limit cycle and limit cycle has several important applications also in positive science uh, sense and due to that reason we are also talking about the behavior as a periodic orbit that is good for construction of oscillator and and other other kind of devices so in bifurcation basically we are going to uh, understand the change in the equilibrium point or periodic orbit or their stability because in qualitative behavior we are just concentrated in, in on three things equilibrium point and a part uh, equilibrium point is called trivial solution non trivial solution is periodic orbit and after that we are focusing on the stability a stable node or unstable node a stable focus or unstable focus so due to that reason in bifurcation we are talking about all three possibility by changing the parameter so we are varying the parameter and after that we are again relook the phase analysis that that what is property of the equilibrium point periodic orbit and their stability and the parameter is called the bifurcation parameter okay so during a study one parameter is always involved or more than one parameter is always involved that is called bifurcation parameter and value which change occur is called bifurcation point okay so using example we are trying to understand that what is meaning of bifurcation parameter or what is meaning of bifurcation point okay so this is just a definition now i am going to apply definition to this simple system so this is second order non linear system why non linear because here x1 square and this is called parameter and this mu can take any value positive zero and negative so all possible value i am going to consider so here you try to see that case one i have considered suppose that whatever parameter mu here that is greater than 0 so in order to understand the qualitative behavior first point is that i have to calculate the equilibrium point of this system so if and you know that how to calculate equilibrium point of this system you can just put rate of change equal to 0 so if you keep rate of change equal to 0 then i have equation mu minus x1 square equal to 0 so since mu is positive due to that reason i have to equilibrium point like this and this okay and x2 equal to 0 x2 equal to 0 so these are my equilibrium points so same kind of things i have written here and here okay after that now what i am going to do i am going to linearize this system about this particular first equilibrium point that is the square root of mu and 0 where mu is positive so after if you do linearization then what happens that here you can see that i have 2 x1 and here i have 1 because i have to calculate dou f1 by dou x1 dou f1 by dou x2 after that dou f2 by dou x1 and dou f2 by dou x2 so this is my jacobian matrix for second order system okay and after that what i am going to do i am going to substitute here the equilibrium point because i am linearizing about this particular point so once you substitute here then you will get this please check it verify it okay now since i know that mu is greater than 0 so if mu is greater than 0 then this whole quantity is positive and negative sign so this is negative so now situation is is like this i have two eigen value and both eigen value are are different and negative also strictly negative and due to that reason we are telling that a square root of mu and 0 that is a stable node we have already learned about this okay now what i am going to do that i am going to 
linearize the system about second equilibrium point because I have two set of equilibrium point. So I am going to do linearization about this point and after that I have this kind of behavior. 2 square root again I am going to calculate the Jacobian matrix 2 cross 2 matrix and after that I am going to substitute this point. So you can see that anyone could you please comment that in this particular matrix suppose that this matrix I can define as a, a matrix. So if a matrix has this kind of a structure then what is qualitative behavior? Baby Dana, could you please comment? U is greater than 0. Are you able to um, uh, are you able to uh, hear me? Yes sir. Okay, so so what is behavior of the equilibrium point? A square root mu or 0? What is behavior? Okay. Uh, you can see that uh, first in order to will be opposite to each other. Uh, so what is behavior? Hyperbolic. Hyperbolic. Uh, hyperbolic. We are defining hyperbolic equilibrium point. We are not talking about behavior like hyperbolic. We are defining behavior as a term of node, focus, center. What? Saddle. Saddle. Yeah. Actually, you can see that here I have written saddle also. Okay. So, if opposite I can really so please what uh, what you can do, please revise the lectures. Okay. So, uh, whenever we have opposite, then we have saddle, uh, saddle kind of situation means one direction trajectory is going to converge, other di direction that is going to diverge. So, what we found that at one equilibrium point, I have a stable node in the vicinity of this because whenever we are doing linearization, then whatever result that we have developed that is only valid in the vicinity of the equilibrium point. Now let us try to plot the phase portrait and here what we found that I have two equilibrium point in case of mu greater than 0, one equilibrium point is a stable node and another equilibrium point is saddle. Okay, same kind of things I am going to plot in, in the next curve. You can see that I have first plotted two equilibrium point, one equilibrium point uh, a square root of mu 0 and I am assuming mu greater than 0. And after that second equilibrium point, that is a square root mu and 0. Here, this equilibrium point, a square root of mu 0 is a stable, means any trajectory in the vicinity of this is going to convert due to that region, this kind of behavior comes into picture. Here, you can see that one eigenvalue is positive and another one is negative. So what, what kind of things basically happens? that in one direction I have convergence kind of behavior another we are going to diverge. So here also I am going to diverge but in nearby of this I have another equilibrium point and this equilibrium point is nothing but a stable node. So if that is a stable node so in this region whenever we are going to talk about this particular region I am going to talk about this particular region you can see that in this particular region if any trajectory comes into picture then that is going to converge here. Okay. And in this side, if any trajectory will come into picture, that is going to converge here. Okay. Anyone has confusion on this? But if we are on this side, then what happens? Finally, we are going to diverge. Okay. So that kind of situation we have. Now, when mu greater than 0. Okay. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to change the mu. Because mu is the parameter and whenever we are studying the bifurcation, I have already told you that we are going to change the parameter. Okay. So let us again come back to the original system and this is my original system here. So now could you please tell me that if mu is less than 0, then how many equilibrium point I have? Silpi, are you here? Yes, sir. So could you please comment that if mu that is less than 0, then how many equilibrium point I have? Quickly please. Two equilibrium points, sir. Uh, it is on imaginary axis. So uh, uh, is it possible that equilibrium point become imaginary? 
if not then why or if yes then why okay rajesh could you please comment why image uh, why equilibrium point is not imaginary first you can give answer that is it possible that i will take equilibrium point as a imaginary number rajesh are you here rajesh okay ruchi ha ha ah, yes rajesh okay ruchi could you please answer this question that uh, that equilibrium point is imaginary or not is it possible सर ओके सुनिधि इज इट पॉसिबल दैट इक्विलिब्रियम पॉइंट इज इमेजिनरी नो सर बिकॉज़ दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रियल डायमेंशनल या या रियल डायमेंशनल सिस्टम मींस एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर ओके एंड ड्यू टू दैट रीजन दैट इक्विलिब्रियम पॉइंट इज नेवर इमेजिनरी ओके इज इट बिकम क्लियर सिल्पी यस सर and due to that reason i cannot tell that my equilibrium point because if you are going to solve it and if uh, that become minus 1 then then what happens that equilibrium point looks like that that is uh, uh, that is actually imaginary but that is not the case because everywhere we are assuming x belongs to r and x2 belongs to r okay due to that reason okay if we assume that that is belongs to complex number then that is possible okay so please be careful and due to that reason you might have seen that everywhere whenever i am writing x dot equal to fx i am defining like this x belongs to r2 it means that each component is real okay so now if i don't have the uh, means uh, uh, if this is negative then it is possible to show so that uh, for negative value of this and since this is positive so you can see that suppose i have minus 1 and here i have some quantity so for any positive and negative uh, actually uh, that is uh, negative and due to that reason i cannot claim that this equal to zero so this become never zero okay so equilibrium point do not exist so some system it might possible i don't have equilibrium point so there is no need to worry about that now if mu equal to zero then obviously i have equilibrium point that is zero zero anyone has confusion on this so this is very very good example that when some system don't have equilibrium point okay so always you cannot expect that i have some kind of a stationary point in the state space okay so here i am going to consider the zero zero case and if you linearize the system so there is no need to linearize the system just now try to see that if mu equal to zero then i have condition like this x2 dot equal to minus x2 so you can see from here that if if i will see second equation then solution by by seeing solution from here also you can see that x2 is if x2 is negative then x2 dot is if x2 is positive then x2 dot is negative so trajectory is going to converge towards this if x2 is negative then negative negative positive x2 dot is become positive so i can converge like this okay now try to see the behavior of first equation okay this is decoupled equation so i can analyze it uh, it very very easily and after that now if you see this equation so again i have some kind of real number but here in this side if x1 is positive then what happens that for x if x1 is positive then x1 dot is negative so obviously i will converge towards this but if x1 is negative then still x1 dot become negative it means that i can going to diverge like this because if i don't have opposite sign so so in order to convergence x1 should be should be positive and x1 dot, dot that should be negative if we are in this side then x1 is negative but x1 dot should be positive like that opposite sign then only i can converge okay but that is not the case and due to that reason you can see here that in x2 direction trajectory is converging but x1 direction trajectory all trajectory is going to diverge anyone has confusion on this 
uh, this page portrait Rajesh do you have confusion okay if you don't okay now let us try to see the case when mu less than 0 so I don't have any stationary point okay so what I am going to see now again I am going to see by by same analysis or analysis by Newton's law I have already talked about this so you can see that even if mu is less than 1 or, or negative less than 0 then I have situation like this x1 dot equal to uh, mu mu is parameter and minus x1 square and x2 dot equal to minus x2 here I have why I have put uh, this absolute value just you know uh, I am going to show you that this always become negative okay so this is negative it means that again I have similar kind of behavior so in in x2 direction there is not a problem but basically in in this if you see this differential equation so in this side x1 is positive x1 dot is negative so that is quite fine for us so trajectory is going to converge to like this in this side now again you can see that x1 is negative but x1 dot that is also negative it means that I am going to diverge in this direction so similar kind of picture I have so so what we observe here that at mu changing from positive to negative and passing through 0 then initially you can see that you can just see the trajectory in this vicinity in this particular vicinity so in this if my initial condition x1 and x2 that is going to lie in this particular region then all trajectory is going to converge here okay so suppose since we are talking about a square root mu 0 a square root mu 0 so suppose that if my initial condition at 0 0 okay then I can tell that I am not going to deviate much from 0 0 okay but once mu is going to change just uh, if I have very very small positive value of mu then that is not a problem but as mu is going to decrease so initially positive when that becomes 0 then what happens now you can see that trajectory that whatever this node and whatever this saddle point that is going to collide okay and once collision happens after that all trajectory from the negative onward that is going to diverge to the infinity okay so suppose that if you have this kind of system and if mu is changing slight change from negative to positive you can see that what happens situation become very very dangerous anyone has confusion on this so in control point of view I will tell you the uh, what is actually problem suppose that I have some system like this x1 dot equal to minus x1 square and plus u1 and x2 dot equal to minus x2 and suppose if you have given some kind of constant input u1 and that constant input is very very close to 0 suppose that during some kind of calculation if that pass through 0 okay or some kind of perturbation you can see that initially if you see this system so if perturbation is positive then this system for a small initial condition near of 0 that becomes stable okay but if mu is changing the sign then uh, then what happens situation become very very dangerous okay so we will come up with this point again so let us try to see that actually this kind of phenomena that by changing parameter what happens that actually equilibrium point is going to change okay so initially if you see the previous example then for mu greater than 0 here I have two equilibrium point and at least in this particular region I am going to show you that region so so okay it's computer is a little bit slow so here in this particular region whatever uh, I, again I am going to, to, to uh, tell you about this this region in this particular region what we we found that initially I have two equilibrium point once I am moving from from positive to negative then equilibrium point is lost okay so somehow by changing the parameter parameter equilibrium point is also changing equilibrium point uh, in the state space uh, doesn't remain constant okay 
after that stability property is also change and 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 we have defined same kind of things whenever we are talking about bifurcation so this phenomena is called bifurcation let us now try to see that one more terminology that is people are telling bifurcation diagram so whenever we have bifurcation then in order to represent bifurcation symbolically we are measuring the amplitude of equilibrium point versus the bifurcation parameter and how basically we are defining so ordinate of the bifurcation diagram is the measure of the amplitude of equilibrium point or periodic orbit we are going to see this point and we are representing two lines solid line represent the stable node a stable focus or a stable limit cycle so or in case of nonlinear system we have seen seen that i have two set of uh, two set of uh, means uh, two category of the equilibrium point so if equilibrium point is stable then i have either that is node or foci or limit cycle similarly in case of uh, instability i have an stable node unstable uh, unstable foci or unstable limit cycle so using dash line we are going to see the the uh, uh, the uh, uh, dash line is just showing us that there exists some kind of unstable thing unstable either that might be nodes or foci or unstable limit cycle okay so this bifurcation bifurcation means i have already told you that in one axis i am going to plot the parameter so in this direction i am going to plot the parameter it means that mu is changing from zero to negative to positive okay this axis means i have initially negative i have somewhere zero here and after that this mu is positive so this axis is representing the parameter after that you can see here that as mu is less than 0 so i don't have any equilibrium point okay once mu equal to 0 comes into picture then what happens that once mu greater than 0 then i have a stable node so so this solid line is telling that i have a stable node and this dotted line is telling that i have saddle okay we have already seen that in case of mu equal to 0 i have two equilibrium point one is saddle so so uh, so sun uh, saddle means somehow we are talking about instability only and one is a stable node so a stable node we are representing by solid line and this is by dotted line anyone has confusion so this type of bifurcation is called saddle node bifurcation again we are characterizing bifurcation like soft bifurcation and dangerous bifurcation here you can see that if i am the vicinity of the 0 0 i have safe behavior but as mu is changing from positive to negative or negative to positive particularly positive to negative then what happens that my equilibrium point is lost so this kind of bifurcation is called dangerous bifurcation because i lose the stability of whole system okay if mu is changing from the positive to negative so in this way we are characterizing bifurcation as a soft bifurcation or dangerous bifurcation and if you see the jacobian matrix as uh, has a zero eigen value at the bifurcation point so if you calculate jacobian of this in this bifurcation is called saddle node bifurcation so x1 square and uh, mu equal to 0 we are calculating the eigen value at when mu equal to 0 so x2 equal to uh, uh this is x1 dot equal to minus x2 so if you calculate the jacobian then dot f by dot x so 2x1 and after that i have 0 and 0 and i have 1 here okay and if you substitute the uh, because now equilibrium point is 0 0 so if you substitute 0 0 so you can see that eigen value of this particular whole matrix become 0 so so once equilibrium point so it means that at at the uh, i have zero eigen value at the bifurcation point and my bifurcation point is mu equal to zero so this is also called zero eigen value bifurcation okay now let us come to the another bifurcation and in previous bifurcation what we found 
that my equilibrium point is changing but it is possible to show that in some other bifurcation equilibrium point is not going to change that remains at the same point but what what happens that equilibrium point is going to lose their stability property and we know that what is meaning of stability property stability means either i have a stable node a stable focus or a stable periodic orbit so we are going to lose one of the uh, one of them okay that is the meaning so in first bifurcation that is called saddle node because i have existence of saddle node saddle node bifurcation that is one of the dangerous bif bifurcation i have already told you so their equilibrium point is changing but it is possible to show that next bifurcation that is called transcritical bifurcation their equilibrium point persist through the bifurcation but stability property is going to change so again i am going to see by one example so i have constructed again second example and here you can see that just i have multiplied mu by some parameter that is x1 okay so parameter is mu and i am going to uh, multiply with a state node parameter x1 x1 is the state and mu is the parameter okay so now this particular system try to see that what is my equilibrium point so equilibrium point is one equilibrium point is 0 0 just you have you can put x1 dot equal to 0 so one solution is x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 0 second solution you try to see that from here since i can represent system like this mu minus mu minus x x uh, here i have uh, uh, mu x1 and here i have x2 so basically uh, what happens uh, this uh, this should be x1 i have i have done some mistake probably we will check it okay so here then only equilibrium point i can tell like this otherwise if x2 then that kind of things not happens so uh, so i have x1 common mu minus x1 so you can see that one equilibrium point is 0 0 and another equilibrium point mu x1 equal to mu and another is 0 okay so here please interpret this as a x1 squared okay now what i am going to do i am going to calculate the jacobian at 0 0 so if you calculate jacobian at 0 0 so so i have dou f by dou x1 so dou f by dou x uh, x1 that is mu and after that since i am going to, to to do at at x1 equal to 0 so 2 x1 that equal to 0 and after that dou f by dou x2 so that is equal to 0 and due to that region next component that is 0 and after that dou f by dou x1 that is 0 and uh, and minus 1 comes into picture please check it okay after that now you are familiar with the jacobian now suppose if mu less than 0 if mu less than 0 then you can see that what happens in this case both eigen value each is strictly negative and due to that reason i have a stable node but if mu greater than 0 parameter is greater than 0 in this case that becomes saddle because one one eigen value that that is positive then second one is negative like that okay due to that reason i have saddle kind of behavior okay so please revise it after that now I, what i am going to do i have another equilibrium point again what i am going to do i am going to linearize about this equilibrium point and again whenever you are doing linearization at that time you have to put x1 equal to x1 equal to mu1 uh, mu and x2 equal to 0 and after that whatever matrix generated here you can check the eigen value and it is possible to show now mu less than 0 this is become saddle because if mu less than 0 then negative negative that this become positive so one eigen value is positive another one is negative but once mu greater than 0 then i have now this become a stable so try to see from here that as mu changing from negative to positive so so what happens that equilibrium point is not going to change equilibrium point remains uh, remains uh, uh, the same because in this case either you can take negative mu as a positive and negative then what happens that equilibrium point persist okay that remains 0 0 mu 0 but try to see the property so at 0 0 what happens that mu less than 0 then i have a stable greater than 0 i have saddle but if trajectory is going to hit this equilibrium point then what happens 
that mu less than zero then become saddle and mu greater than zero then that is become a stable node. So what basically we, uh, we are seeing that as mu is changing then a stable node is converted into saddle. Saddle is converted into a stable node. Okay, so actually flipping happens and this kind of bifurcation same kind of things I am showing here. So this solid line is represented the stable node and this is represented the saddle. Now what happens that at this point when mu is crossing from this is 0, mu equal to 0. So for mu less than 0, so try to see the situation mu less than 0. So, so mu less than 0 I have one saddle and, and one another one is a stable node. So both I am going to plot in this diagram. So same kind of information I have. But once mu greater than 0, then what happens? This, this dotted line saddle now going to convert into a stable node. Because once mu greater than 0, then initially whatever saddle then that become a stable node. And whatever a stable node that now becomes saddle. From here you can you can see. Okay. So due to that reason, we have drawn the figure like this. Okay. Now the equilibrium point I have already told you that that is persist. From here also uh, you are able to see that uh, uh, that whenever we are writing dynamics like this minus x1 square and x2 dot equal to minus x2. So we have already checked that equilibrium point is persist. And when mu equal to zero, then this term is equal to zero. So again, this bifurcation pass through the equilibrium point zero zero. Okay. Now what we are telling that 0, 0 changes from a stable node to a to a saddle and mu 0 changes from saddle to a stable node. So we have already seen about this particular point. So if you have very very a small value of mu at the steady state operating, suppose that you have set mu in advance and after that suppose you are very very close to the equilibrium point. So whenever perturbation comes into picture, uh, due to perturbation mu might be positive and negative, then what happens that what we found that in one direction, if initially I have saddle, then that become a stable and a stable become saddle and their magnitude increases as mu is going to increase. But if you are remains in the vicinity of this, when mu equal to zero, then actually amplitude is also very very less and due to that reason this bifurcation is, is actually called soft bifurcation and this is not dangerous. So this is called safe bifurcation provided your mu is very very small. If mu is large then again that is uh, that is not safe. Okay. So due to that reason we are just analyzing everything in the vicinity of the equilibrium point and Due to that reason, this is safe and I have already explained you that saddle node bifurcation because by changing sign mu from a negative, positive to negative, what happens that whole trajectory skip to the infinity. So that is dangerous bifurcation. Now let us try to see the next one. So I have two, two we have already seen that uh, in, uh, in, in first one that is called saddle node that is dangerous and transcritical is actually where equilibrium point is not going to change that is soft, a soft bifurcation. Another thing now I am going to see by that is called supercritical pitch fork bifurcation. So let us try to see that why this kind of name. So by by seeing the example, by seeing, uh, seeing the bifurcation diagram, we are able to understand the name. And after that, I will explain you the word supercritical. Okay. So what happens? Now I'm going to modify the again previous system. So in place of x1 square, I have replaced by x1 cube. Okay. Now you try to see that for mu less than zero, because now I have, if you see the system, so I have this kind of situation, x1 square. So if mu is less than zero, then what happens? That equilibrium point is zero, zero. But because here one equilibrium point is obvious, x1 equal to zero, and x2 equal to 0. Another equilibrium point x1 square equal to mu. So in order to 
uh, in order to existence of equilibrium point mu should be positive okay so if mu is negative then i have just one equilibrium point so uh, one equilibrium point is 0 0 so i have unique equilibrium point when mu is less than 0 so just you can do the uh, uh, you can calculate or linearize the system about that particular particular point 0 0 and if you linearize the system then we are going to calculate the jacobian matrix and please verify please check it because i have this kind of equation now equation is mu x1 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 cube and now what i am going to do i am going to calculate dou f by dou x1 so dou f by dou x1 is mu and after that 3 x1 square and 0 0 if you put then this becomes 0 due to that region mu comes into picture after that dou f by dou x2 so uh, there is no term of x2 due to that region this is 0 dou f by dou x dou f2 by dou x1 i am assuming this as f1 this as f2 and after that uh, i am going to calculate the partial derivative with respect to x1 there is no term of x1 due to that region this is 0 i have one term with respect to x2 due to that region that is minus 1 now what you can do you try to see the behavior here i have assumed that mu less than 0 so if you mu less than 0 then both eigen value is strictly negative and due to that region 0 0 is a stable node okay so if this parameter is negative then i have a unique equilibrium point and whatever behavior qualitative behavior of the equilibrium point then that that so the stable node so stability property is a stable node now what i am going to do i am going to change the sign mu greater than 0 so once mu greater than 0 so you can see that now one trivial equilibrium point is 0 0 so that is obvious from here but one more equilibrium point now comes into picture because mu is positive so i have x1 equal to a square root plus minus mu and due to that region now i have three equilibrium point you can see that one equilibrium point is persist and after that two different equilibrium point is generated once parameter is changing from their sign from negative to positive and if you check i have already checked about the 0 0 and and what now we have to do that i have calculated jacobian about 0 0 but this parameter is now become positive because mu is positive jacobian matrix remains the same about 0 0 but this become now positive so if, if this become positive then one eigen value of this two cross two matrix are positive another one is negative and due to that region i have saddle kind of behavior and due to that region now what happens that initially that is a stable node so when mu uh, changing sign from negative to positive then what happens at this time 0 0 is changing from uh, from a stable node to saddle and try to see about the another another two equilibrium point if you again linearize the system about these two point it is possible to show that i am not going to calculate jacobian again because that is just homework for you so please do by yourself calculate the jacobian and after that you can put the both eigen value it is possible to show that both both eigen value are, are strictly negative and due to that teacher we have a stable mode so what we found initially when mu is is less than zero and here i have mu equal to zero and this is mu less than zero so i have only one stable node and after that what happens once mu crosses the zero then i have two stable nodes and whatever initially this this node is there now that become saddle and due to that region i have plotted this dotted line i have already told you that in bifurcation diagram what basically we are doing we are plotting the amplitude or norm of the equilibrium point and after that in one axis we are showing the change of parameter okay so here whatever whatever equilibrium point so initially property of equilibrium point that is a stable that is a stable node and once they hit here then two more equilibrium point comes into picture so i have this kind of shape and if you see this shape then this shape you are able to understand that why we have actually given this kind of name that whatever in, in title pitch of okay so you can able to see this kind of a structure fog like structure here and due to that region this is called pitch fog bifurcation now i am going to uh, give uh, mean uh, understand the name of supercritical okay so and we are going to check that in supercritical bifurcation is dangerous or not dangerous 
so what basically we are going to see now that as mu crosses the bifurcation point mu equal to 0 then saddle node at the origin of bifurcate into saddle and give birth of to we have already seen this same kind of things i have written in the form of remark the amplitude of newly created stable node grows with mu hence it is a small a small for a small mu what we are telling you can see here that amplitude means this kind of a structure I have. So as we are moving, their amplitude is going to grow. Okay. So a stable node, but that is the amplitude is going to. So this is showing the amplitude, that growing amplitude. But if your mu is lesser than, then what happens that you are still stable because at least in vicinity of zero, whatever amplitude of the variation that is not so much high. Okay. You are not quickly going to diverge to the uh, to the infinity and due to that region this is also called safe bifurcation okay or super critical means safe so name is uh, by name it looks like that sub critical should be less uh, less dangerous but that is not the case whenever super that is more safe sub critical that is dangerous let us try to see by next example now i am going to talk about again same kind of bifurcation but at this time, I am going to talk about subcritical. So supercritical we have already seen. Now we are going to see the subcritical. So same kind of analysis here. Just I have changed the sign from negative to positive here. Then what happens? The story is going to change now. Since when, when mu less than zero, so now I have x1 and after that x1, x1 squared plus pi. So if mu is less than zero, then you can see that now I have two equilibrium points because mu is less than zero so and if you check again jacobian so it is possible to show that this become a stable node and and this become two saddle point and after that if mu greater than zero then i have a unique equilibrium point again you can linearize it and it is possible to show that is nothing but saddle point okay so remark is that when mu crosses the bifurcation point mu equal to zero then a stable initially i have a stable node at the origin collide with the saddles this and bifurcate into saddle. So now situ situation is like this from here. So, so initially what happens that I have one stable, stable kind of phenomena and after that, so try to again come back here that uh, what happens that 0, 0 is a stable node. Due to that reason I have uh, brought one solid line and two saddle point. So in case of saddle point and, and behavior of saddle point as we are, uh, as mu is going to become more negative, their amplitude is going to increase due to that, that region, this kind of behavior I have. And after that, what happens? That merge into one equilibrium point because for mu greater than zero, I have just one equilibrium point. So what happens? That this merge to the and uh, one equilibrium point, but behavior of this equilibrium point again becomes saddle and due to that region I have plotted with plotted line and it is possible to show that this kind of bifurcation is dangerous because what happens if you uh, parameter is changing from mu equal to uh, uh, means uh, negative to positive at that time we diverge too far okay and due to that reason this kind of bifurcation is subcritical by bifurcation is called dangerous bifurcation okay now let us come to the third question and this is the last part of today's lecture that when a stable node loses stability at bifurcation or an eigenvalue of Jacobian pass through the zero, what about the stable focus losing the stability? Till now, what we have seen that I have a stable node and I have saddle point and, and, and what happens that a stable node is going to lose their stability or saddle thinks they are going to lose the stability. Now, what we are going to see, suppose that if a stable focus and when we have a stable focus, if both eigenvalue is, is a strictly uh, real part of both eigenvalue is positive, uh, negative, then we have a stable focus or unstable focus when, uh, when real part of the complex eigenvalue alpha plus j beta and if alpha less than zero, then I have a stable focus. If alpha greater than zero, I have unstable focus. Okay, so we are going to see the stability, how basically we are losing the stability. In case of the stable node, 
or saddle node but bifurcation what we found found that whenever we are losing the stability we are passing through 0 0 eigen value is passing through 0 0 but in this case it is possible to show that pass through imaginary axis not from the 0 0 okay and this kind of bifurcation has name like called hop bifurcation and this is called supercritical bifurcation so obviously we are we have some kind of a stable focus and after that we are going to uh, to study that as parameter is going to vary then how basically a stable focus is changing so for that i have again constructed some some different example because somehow i have to come with some kind of system where basically imaginary eigen value comes into picture in some vicinity of the equilibrium point okay so here for this particular system you can see that this system looks like very very complicated so i have converted into polar form so i have taken x1 equal to r cos theta x2 equal to r sin theta and where r is defined like r square is defined like x1 square plus x2 square we have already seen this kind of point and theta is 10 inverse x2 by x1 and if you calculate r dot it is possible to show this is like this and theta dot equal to 1 please check it i haven't uh, done the detailed calculation of this and after that what i have to do now you can see that in this particular case we are able to see that what is my equilibrium point so one equilibrium point for this system that is trivial equilibrium point is 0 0 so if you put x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 0 then this equation becomes 0 so one equilibrium point is 0 0 and try to see the property of that equilibrium point you can see in this particular equilibrium point 0 0 if mu is less than 0 so if mu is less than 0 here if mu is less than 0 so i have r dot equal to minus r and minus r cube so somehow i have minus r and because here mu is positive and and after that i have r minus r cube so if mu is less than 0 it is possible to show that this particular system all trajectory is going to converge uh, to the equilibrium point uh, from from this analysis also you can from newton's analysis r and newton's law r dot so r is positive then r dot is less than 0 and similar kind of analysis you can apply here in this case basically we are not going to consider r less than 0 but it is possible to show that for all r positive because r is x1 square plus x2 square i am going to convert and due to that uh, due, due to that reason in if you see the plot in x1 and x2 plane then i have also this kind of plot okay so now what we are going to do we are going to uh, or or another way what you can do you can just linearize your system about 0 0 so if you linearize your system about 0 0 it is possible to show that both eigen value are are, are 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 complex and their real part is negative and due to that reason i have this kind of behavior so you can able to check by different kind of analysis also and after that if you are going to take mu greater than 0 it is possible to show that i have a stable lim limit cycle so i have non trivial non trivial solution so from the point carry bendixson theorem you are able to check it okay so uh, so uh, what is my dynamics mu r minus r cube so here if you define some kind of v that is r square and if you check v dot uh, uh, if you check just uh, like uh, the delta v and multiplication with r uh, uh, fr fr is nothing but this right hand side i am defining fr it is possible to show that that is less than equal to 0 and due to that region what happens that i have some kind of uh, some kind of uh, limit cycle a stable limit cycle okay so please check it okay and after that you are able to calculate the radius of that from from the analysis of differential equation also you are able to understand that if r is a smaller then what happens this term will dominate our rq but when r become greater than 1 then automatically this term is, is uh, dominated so whole things are governed by r dot equal to minus r cube and if r dot equal to minus r cube then i have converging kind of behavior but if this term will um, dominate r dot equal to mu r then i have diverging kind of behavior similar kind of things you can see here i have diverging kind of beha behavior around the equilibrium point but converging kind of behavior when this point means uh, r cube dominate over mu r and when that will do dominate when r greater than square root of mu and due to that reason i have this kind of 
behavior and amplitude of oxidation is function of the mu okay so as we increase the mu then size of this this orbit is going to increase so somehow whatever orbit size of this that is directly function of the parameter because r is given like a square root of mu so as mu is changing you can see see that radius is also changing so if fluctuation of mu is very very less then then this changing of the stable to uh, to a stable limit cycle behavior from stable to stable limit cycle why i am telling stable to stable because you try to see here i have for mu less than 0 i have a stable behavior for mu greater than 0 i have some kind of limit cycle kind of behavior and isolated limit cycle a stable limit cycle kind of behavior but if mu is very small then again my amplitude of oscillation is very very small and due to that reason this bifurcation is also called safe bifurcation so for a small perturbation system will behave nicely in a steady state and oscillation amplitude is also less okay and if you check the behavior of eigen value at the 0 0 at the equilibrium point it is possible to show that just you can do linearization of this particular system about the equilibrium point so i have this kind of uh, this kind of system again i am coming back to uh, the original system and what you can do now linearize this system about the equilibrium point after that after linearization um, now you, you are able to see that by putting mu equal to 0 inside the linearization our our mu very very close uh, to the zero it is possible to show that i have this kind of jacobian matrix and eigen value like this so if you plot this eigen value as mu is changing from negative to positive then i have eigen value changing crossing this complex axis not crossing the zero so same kind of things i am telling that whenever i have some kind of stable focus and they are going to lose their stability and by losing stability if stable or some kind of A stable limit cycle that comes into picture, then eigen value is passed through the complex axis, not through the origin, not just through the origin. Okay, o obviously origin becomes a special case. Okay, so here you can see that initially I have a stable node, or uh, sorry, a stable focus, and after that that is changing to some kind of a stable limit cycle. So we are pl uh, uh, plotting like limit cycle, and it is possible to show that 0 0 is another solution okay so 0 0 is trivial solution so a stable focus now that become unstable okay so please check it so due to that reason i have so this uh, this bifurcation is again soft bifurcation now try to see the sub critical hop bifurcation and again sub critical now word whenever we are using it means that something is dangerous okay so again you can do the polar coordinate and in polar coordinate it is possible to show that this system is converted like this please check it okay so now you know how to convert into polar and after that now i am going to plot the uh, uh, plot the behavior so i have again unique equilibrium point for this system that is 0 0 okay so uh, in order to calculate equilibrium point just you can put x1 dot equal to 0 and x2 dot equal to 0 and if you substitute this it is possible to show that if mu less than 0 then i have a stable focus if mu greater than 0 then i have unstable focus okay so please check it okay so so you know the linearization and after that whatever things that comes after linearization then you can just substitute mu less than 0 and mu greater than 0 due to that reason for exercise i i, I haven't done that kind of calculation after that it is possible to show from here also that is clear you can see here that if this term is going initially this term is dominate so suppose that if you are in the neighborhood of the r equal to 0 then this term is going to dominate our r5 but once you are far from uh, from uh, here then what happens this term is going to dominate okay so what happens at the far distance from this equilibrium point 0 0 r equal to 0 i have some kind of converging kind of behavior because r5 is um, r5 is uh, minus r5 is going to become dominant so from newton's law you can see that r greater than 0 and r dot less than 0 for 
when r is very very far but never could of this r equal to 0 this term is going to dominate over r5 and due to that reason what happens r is greater than 0 but r dot is also greater than 0 due to that reason i have diverging behavior so it is possible to show that far from here i have a stable limit side okay but in the vicinity of this if some limit cycle comes into picture then that is unstable due to that and that from here that is very very obvious and theta is rotating theta dot equal to 1 it means that theta uh, is rotating with respect to time so so due to that reason i have periodic orbit now limit in order to calculate limit cycle what you can do you can just put this equal to 0 and it is possible to show i have two limit cycle and i have already told you that out of that two limit cycle one limit cycle one limit cycle is going to lie here another limit cycle is going to lie here so this limit cycle at this time i have this kind of quantity is dominated means uh, in this particular equation if you see then mu r r cube is going to dominate due to that reason i have some kind of repulsive kind of behavior and due to that reason whatever limit cycle that is going to to, have, to occur here then that li limit cycle is unstable but here that is stable because r have minus r have term is going to dominate and due to that reason here i have unstable limit cycle so whenever i have plus means i am far from here so uh, so so whenever we are far from here then i have a stable whenever we are minus sign means we are uh, we are uh, in the near, uh, neighborhood of this point r equal to 0 this is r equal to 0 then i have unstable uh, limit cycle now let us try to see that if we are changing the parameter mu from mu less than 0 to mu greater than 0 at this time i have one only one limit cycle and that limit cycle is again uh, again that uh, one limit cycle that is given like this and it is possible to show that is stable okay so but what is difficulty that that in the neighborhood of this whatever limit cycle that is unstable far from here only i uh, i get the stability it means that if mu is changing sign from negative to positive then what kind of things happens that situation become more dangerous and due to that reason this is not soft this is dangerous bifurcation so mu increase from negative to positive value then a stable focus at origin merge to unstable limit cycle and due to that reason bifurcate into unstable focus and we are going to see this kind of uh, this kind of curve. okay near the mu equal to 0 so this is mu equal to 0 and mu less than 0 then that is stable due to that reason i have shown like this Line. and after that this also become unstable so 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 what is now conclusion conclusion is like this that when parameter is going to change then what we uh, we found that sometime equilibrium point is also changing some cases equilibrium point is not not changing okay and i have six, six different kind of bifurcation that is come into picture in case of the nonlinear system and these all are called local bifurcation why local bifurcation because we are linearizing the system about the equilibrium point or after that we are changing the parameter and we are seeing the response okay due to that reason this is called local bifurcation apart from this there exists also global bifurcation i haven't covered because our main aim to using qualitative analysis to try to understand what is meaning of bifurcation and bifurcation is very very important whenever you are designing some kind of gain for the system then you have to see that if gain is going to to perturb by slight amount then what is effect of that gain on the system and due to that reason bifurcation study is very very important okay so class is now going to over from my side if you have any question then please let me know okay so bifurcation study is particularly very much useful whenever you are going to design some kind of control because most of time control contains some kind of parameter and that parameter might be changed okay due to some kind of situation during during programming also whenever you are putting something then exact value is going to enter inside um, uh, um, inside the system it might possible if that value is very very close to the zero then what happens some some dangerous kind of things comes into picture sometime that is safer what we have seen that some bifurcation is soft one someone is very very dangerous okay so and what basically happens 
you can see that in last bifurcation i have some kind of a stable focus that is going to change okay and in uh, uh, before that what whenever we are talking about peak fog bifurcation at that time i have a stable node and that is going to change into saddle okay and after that uh, uh, what we have seen in uh, if i have some kind of uh, st uh, again a stable no uh, uh, so in in uh, pitch for fog bifurcation what we have seen that stable node that is changing into limit cycle and in case of first saddle node bifurcation that stable node is changing into saddle so like that and after that we have defined sub super so super means less dangerous sub critical more dangerous okay so by terminology it might possible you become confused that something is super means more dangerous but that is not the case okay but why people has uh, keep this kind of terminology i do not understand that whenever something is super then it looks like something is dangerous but that is not the case okay so with this remark i am going to end the today's lecture so thank you very much if you have any question then please let me know